Hello students, so welcome to the new lecture and in this lecture we are going to discuss about the science and change. In the last lecture we have discussed about what is science, why science is required, science individual perspective and also science the social perspective that we have discussed. Now we are going to discuss about science and change. So the scientists are always, scientists are always, they are constantly trying to make new discoveries. What is meant by discovery? In the last class we have discussed the discovery, okay, discovery is nothing but already present already present in the nature okay already present in the nature that is known as discovery invention what is meant by invention invention means it is not present in the nature newly created okay so newly created it is known as invention so scientists are going to they are going to constantly trying to make new discoveries all the time they are going to try okay that is about it okay so they try, they will develop theories and also they will develop the knowledge produced by the science. Whatever the knowledge they have done, it is it is due to the research, observations and inventions. So the body of knowledge, the body of knowledge produced by science undergoes constant change. All the time, whatever scientists prepare or produce the, some kind of new knowledge, it is going to change all the time. Okay, it is going to change all the time. For example, so let us consider today a plus b whole square is equal to something. So tomorrow will be the a plus b whole square is equal to some other thing. So new thing may come. New thing may come. Scientists are going to change those those, those things. All the time they are undergoing these, uh, these theories will undergo scient uh, constant change. Constant means at particular regular intervals. Constant means particular regular intervals. So change for the better understanding of the nature. We have to understand the nature. We have to understand the nature. So if you want to understand the nature, you have to constantly change the things that you have discovered earlier, that you have discovered, uh, discovered earlier, that has to be changed constantly. Okay. So the above are achieved based on these two points. These two points are achieved by the questioning. You want to question. So if, for example, if the photosynthesis is occurring, why the photosynthesis will occur? What is the reason for the photosynthesis? Okay. So that is one of the question. And what is responsible for the photosynthesis? That is the second question and so on. So you have to go on questioning the things, whether the, our ideas is correct or not. Whether our ideas is correct or not, we have to check. We, our idea is photosynthesis is going to occur in the plants only. Our question is why only in the plants? Okay, why only in the plants? Okay, then you will get the answer. Then you will get the answer whether the photosynthesis will occur only in the plants or in other animals also. So these all are the questions, question everything, okay, according to science. Other theories are modified with time based on new evidences discovered. For example, yeah, I will say water, water only required, water only required for the photosynthesis, okay. So what does it mean? Is it only water required? So this is one theory, let us consider this is one theory. In the future, in the future, someone will do some research and they will say that water only not only water but also sunlight is essential they will say sunlight is essential they may say the chlorophyll is important for the photosynthesis and so on it means the old theory will get cancelled it means the old theory will be deleted or modified or you can say the old theory will be modified okay what is modification modification is nothing but change the old theory will be changed into new theory the second theory will come that second second theory is known as new theory okay how the new theory is came new theory is came by the modification by the modification of the old theory the new theory came okay so what is the modification in the modification what has done in the modification we said that these all are required what are all required what is required sunlight is required and chlorophyll is required along with the water okay along with the water that is a new modification so this such kind of thing occurs all the time in nature okay so this is about old theories are modified with the time based on new evidences discovered new based on the new evidence discovery the old thing or old theory may be replaced so according to Karl Popper is science he said that the Karl Popper said that he's scientist. He said that science is the history of corrected mistakes. What is the history of corrected mistakes? So let us this let us take this is the example. Let us take this as example. So in this, what we have done, we have corrected one mistake. What is that mistake? Only only water required. This is not correct. So we have corrected it. We have corrected it, and it was a history. Okay, it, it was a 
history hence corrected history corrected history is known as science okay according to the karl popper next the einstein einstein said himself he said about him what he said about him he said that i the fellow einstein every year retracts what he wrote last what he what he wrote year before it means let us consider einstein so let us consider einstein said some theory okay to in the in this year he said some theory okay so next let us this 2019 example i'm saying 2019 in 2020 in 2020 he will change he will change the theory okay so change the theory and he will say new theory it means he will do some modifications or he will take it back he will do some modifications okay or he will retract okay retract means what retract means taking back so that is the thing that is done by the einstein and if you have any doubts or questions and post it in the comment section okay and we will try to answer those and scientist next year scientist would like to return after the centuries let us consider scientists have died due to this year so after century after few centuries they want to come back they want to come back and they want to see whether their whether their discoveries are still there or changed or discarded means discarded means removed so they want to see they want to see about the discoveries which which were done when they are alive when they are alive they have done some discoveries so they want to come after few centuries okay few centuries means after few hundreds of the years they want to see whether their whether their uh, theories are there still now or not they want to see that why because why they say like that they say like that because science is always going to change science is going to always change with time with time with new theories and uh, with new theories old theories are being changed or old theories are being discarded so this is the reason they want to come back and they want to see okay whether it is possible or not we don't know but this is their opinion okay science scientist observe the nature and its laws by discovering the secrets of the nature secrets means in the nature there are many secrets in the nature there are many secrets and the scientist want to observe the scientist want to observe and they want to understand the laws in the nature there are some laws they want to understand some laws which is present in the nature okay how do they find some laws they can find these laws by the discovery okay by discovery plus invention discovery and invention only possible with the help of discovery and invention they can find out the laws they can find out the laws of the nature okay so based on discovery inventions and different innovations takes place okay so scientist work on scientific method just now we have discussed scientist are going to do the research they are going to do the discovery they are going to do the observations for the knowledge for the body of knowledge by science okay but we know we want to know how they are going to work okay if you want to cook something you have some information how to cook okay how to cut vegetables and how to uh, how much uh, how much time you have to fry it and everything okay fine but what about scientist what about scientist they want to do was some work they want to do some work and they want to create something so for that creation discovery or invention how they are going to work okay how they are going to work and what are main reasons for their work okay that we are going to discuss in this topic okay how do scientist how do uh, how scientist work that is nothing but scientific method but then what is scientific method scientific method is nothing but okay it is a procedure how do they how they do research okay how they how they do the research that is known as scientific method scientists follow scientific method to innovation and also discoveries for the discovery and innovation they are going to follow a scientific methods okay so there are many things in the scientific method the one of the most important com, uh, important component is planning and investigation so what is planning and what is investigation okay here the planning these are organized ways for planning okay organized ways for planning and also conducting a study it usually includes five steps five steps are involved in the planning and investigation with the help of planning only with the help of planning only they can decide something they can decide something and they do some uh, some uh, research work with the help of planning so for example if you want to go to a zoo park okay from your home to the zoo park okay what you will do so you will do 
you will do some important planning okay when you have to go to the when you have to book a car or when you want to go, go to the bus stand and so on okay that is planning okay so the traveling okay then, then what food you have to take what food you have to take to eat in the zoo park and what animals what animals you have to see in the zoo park and uh, next uh, we, we you want to know how much ticket cost okay and so on and how much time you have to spend how much time you have to spend in the zoo park and everything so these everything it comes under the planning everything comes under the planning so in the same way in the laboratory if the scientist want to do some research he is going to have some planning okay he is going to have some planning and also this planning is very very essential for the investigation of something for the investigation of something so these uh, these this method is nothing but scientific method this method is known as scientific method this scientific method this scientific method includes total five steps total five steps are involved in the planning and investigation in science okay this scientific method are step 1 step 2 step 3 step 4 and step 5 okay first step 1 is observing through sense okay not sense or sense okay observing through the sense and recording one question okay for example your observation is your observation is you want to know which soil is better okay let us know this one part second part third part so it has in clay soil it has in clay soil it has the soil is normal soil okay it has sandy soil okay it has a sand you want to know which part which soil is better for the growing plants okay you want to know which plant, which part, which soil is better for the growing plant this is your question okay this is your question so you want to have a question that is through sense organs through eyes okay through touch and uh, some information you want to observe and you have to record one question what is that one question uh, which soil is better for the plant growth okay so that is your question and you have to write something that you know already okay you want to know something already that you know what you know about the soil okay what you know about the soil that you have to write okay that you have to write what you know about it so next is collect information that you need to do research whatever the information that you are that you need you have to do research okay you have to collect the information and after the collecting of the after collecting information then you have to do the research okay the step 1 is over okay up to now the step 1 is over next one is a step 2 okay and if you have any doubts or questions okay you have to use your comment section so that i can answer okay and next step is okay second step is write possible hypothesis to your question what are the possible hypothesis okay first of all what is meant by hypothesis hypothesis means hypothesis means your opinion what you are thinking for example i will say i will think that i will think that growing plants in the pots is better okay this is my opinion and your opinion is you think that growing plants in the pot is not better growing plants in the ground is better okay that is your question and someone think growing plants in polythene bag is better okay that is his opinion hypothesis means opinion your opinion is different my opinion is different or someone's opinion may be different okay the opinions may be different or same so that is your view or opinion that is hypothesis so write possible hypothesis what is your what will be the possible hypothesis my possible hypothesis is growing plant in the clay soil is better okay that is my hypothesis okay i will write that i will write in i will write that in my notes or in my observation next is a hypothesis a possible answer that can be tested what is my answer my answer is growing plant in the clay soil is better okay i will write my i will write that answer okay and also i want to test it okay i want to test whether the plant growth in clay soil is better or not i want to test it i how do i test by research or by experiment okay complete your sentence by writing your hypothesis my sentence writing is over okay so here up to now the second step is over now third step comes into play okay in the third step what is the control the variables for conducting the fair test so what is meant by variable variable means these are the factors okay these are the factors so these factors are many things many things for example it can be a water okay it can be a water it can be sunlight okay it can be nutrients okay and so on these all are the things 
okay these all are the variables okay so these variables are important these variables are the factors that outcome the investigation what is my investigation which which soil is better for the growth so it means the first is the clay soil is better for the growth or not that is my investigation for the investigation what are the what are important the variables are important okay so i have to control the variables okay i have to control the variables these control these variables are fixed some are fixed what are the fixed variables the fixed variables are sunlight is fixed variable water is fixed variable and nutrients is fixed variable and changing variables may be soil okay i can use different soils okay here the i have here i have selected the clay soil to test okay so the, these are the variables next is the step 4 step 4 is the following the steps that have written follow the steps that have written already and carefully observe and measure carefully okay daily water the pot okay and provide sunlight to it and also provide nutrients for it that will be the careful observation and also careful measurement okay record everything that happens organize your data that you have can study carefully okay so the plant has grown okay the plant has grown up to some extent i have to record i have to record the height how much height it is it has grown and how much length and everything okay how much size everything i have to record it i have to record the data carefully and i have to i, I have to organize the data so organization is nothing but how much height how much plant height in the clay soil how much uh, high plant height in the normal soil and how much height in the sandy soil okay so these all are the things i have to organize the data clearly so let us consider the clay soil 5 cm in the normal soil 2 cm in the sandy soil 1 cm okay number of leaves is 6 number of leaves in normal soil is around 3 number of so leaves in the uh, sandy soil is 1 and so on so in this way i have to organize the data clearly so that i can uh, understand what e, what what the research is going on okay this is about step 4 okay studying it carefully step 5 is investigation okay the step 5 is analyzing data analyzing data that you gathered analyze it so how much leaves have grown how much height the plants are grown and everything so the make a chart okay tables or graphs to show your data okay so graph i think you might have studied in the mathematics okay graph will be in this way okay draw the graph and x and uh, everything like uh, y axis x axis and so on okay write the conclusion what is meant by conclusion conclusion means your uh, result okay your result what is your result which pot is better which soil is better for the plant growth that is your conclusion and describe the evidences used to determine which whether your test supports your hypothesis or not you have to prove your you have to provide the evidences okay you have to provide your evidences to show which soil is better i will i my my hypothesis is clay soil is better okay this is my hypothesis what i will say i will say that clay soil is better for the plant growth and i will provide evidences what is the evidences i will show the plant height i will show the number of leaves of the plant and also weight of the plant and everything and health the healthy condition of the plant everything this all comes under the evidences evidence means proof okay i have the proof that uh, out of three pots out of three pots the first pot is going to have the clay soil this the plant which is present in the clay soil has grown better so my hypothesis is the clay soil is better and this is the proof and evidence okay and this is my test okay so i support your hypothesis with the help of uh, with the help of the result that you have and with the help of proof that you have support your hypothesis i will support my hypothesis that clay soil is better okay decide whether your hypothesis is correct or not according to my investigation i according to my investigation the plant growth is better okay so that is my my hypothesis is correct okay so investigate further okay investigate further and your hypothesis may be the sand soil is better for the growth and after doing a complete experiment the plant is not grown better okay instead of that plant other plants are grown better so your hypothesis is wrong in that way in that case your hypothesis is wrong so in that case if your hypothesis is incorrect what you have to do you may want to form another hypothesis okay and to do test different variables are required so if your hypothesis is correct what you will do you may have you may want to pose another question about your topic is whether you can test it and so on so my hypothesis is over my hypothesis is the plant has grown better my hypothesis is correct i want to go to the another 
variable i want to go i want to solve another question so i want now i want to say providing nutrients is not good okay that is my second hypothesis okay i want to check it again i will i will go back to the experiment i will start experiment from the beginning okay so that is my next hypothesis or next question okay so if if my hypothesis is incorrect okay what i will do there might be some problem okay what i will do again i will go back okay and i will form another hypothesis and i will check the variables again to do the research till i get the correct answer okay till i get the correct answer or till i get the truth i will do the research okay so truth is important okay so what is true and what is false can kind of this kind of information is very very important and this is about scientific method this is about science and change scientific method and investigation further these are the three topics that we have discussed in this class and in the next class we will discuss another more things okay next uh, next coming topic that we will discuss and if you have any doubts or questions post it in the comment section and we will try to answer it okay or we will try to clear your doubts okay and we will discuss next topic in the next lesson